Hi guys, update, just a card Rob, I am Rob, okay, so, we've been working on that walking stick, I gotta put another coat or two of uh, polyurethane on it, but right now it's dry, so I'm gonna show it to you, okay, so this is what we came up with for the top, okay, we did a heavy spiral, like Jordy does, you know, with the wind. Windstorm. Magic fingers. Okay. So we you can see uh I put the guy's name in the stick for me. One guess he wants his name on it. Okay. And we cut this heavy spiral in like a like an end mill would have. Okay, and then we put some rings, and uh, there's our handle. Yeah, I, I, I really don't think it came out dark enough. So, I may end up going back over that. I don't know. And then, uh, let's zoom in the cars. Zoom in. Zoom. Nope, that's, hey, that went the wrong way. Okay, there we go. So, you can see the, we cut all them diamonds and cross-hatched it. And, uh. That's the spiral. Runs all the way up the stick, right? And then the cars. Here's our cars. Let's see. I don't know if I can get a good... So you can see how deep they are in there. They're in there about... A little over an eighth of an inch depth. Some of them are a little deeper. Some of them are a little less. Depends on the size of the car, too, you know. Okay. Cars are a lot harder to carve on a stick than I thought they were going to be. You know, you're, but try anytime you're trying to carve something on a, this is an inch and a quarter dowel. So it's a little bit harder to carve on that tight of a radius. You can kind of see the depth right there. Uh, they actually stick out further than you can see because I, this has all been rounded over. There's the Bugattis. Um, I got a feeling the Bugatti, I think the Bugattis would have came out better on flat because this is all really rounded, you know, on the real car. And you really can't get that on an inch and a quarter stick. You'd be blown right through the stick. What happened? The camera went crazy on me. So that's what it came out looking like, guys. It's a quick update on this car. Stick here. So it is done. Now we can move on to... Uh, now we can move on to other carvings. We can get into some of that sweet, sweet, sweet basswood that... Ben, over there at Studio on the Lake, sent us. Hey, Ben, um, your fairy that you found there, the corpse of that fairy, I made, I built some uh, wooden fairy traps, and I put them out back. I have, uh, like, ten acres here, and, like, six of it's all heavy woods. So, I set up the fairy traps, Ben, out in the woods. And I noticed that there's a tribe of fairies. They're hunter fairies. They use bows and arrows. So maybe that's the same fairies that was over there in Wisconsin that shot down that uh, that little blue fairy. These guys are crazy. They're more of an orange and yellow and black striped type of fairies. Uh, when I was setting up the traps, I seen a couple of them buzz through. So I put up some uh, cubes of sugar inside of the fairy trap 
and we'll see if we can catch one, all right? So maybe you can compare um, what you've seen with what I'm trying to catch, all right? So watch out, Ben. We're going to catch us a fairy for you, all right? Uh, so that's about it, guys. Short video, just covering this stick. Uh, not much going on. I got to go mow some leaves and that kind of stuff. Uh, so we'll catch you guys later. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Check out the links below. And uh, stay awesome. Bye.